Hi, I'm Mickey Pardo, and I'm a PhD student at Cornell University, studying the vocal communication of wild Asian elephants. For decades, linguists and evolutionary biologists have been asking the question, why do humans have such a complex language? No one really knows, but one of the leading hypotheses is that language helps us deal with all the incredibly intricate and complex social relationships that come with being human. Elephants live in complex societies with large interconnected social networks. Groups can split apart into smaller groups for a while, and then come back together months later, and the social bonds between the elephants are still there. In fact, elephants can recognize a large number of other elephants, possibly as many as a hundred or more, and remember them for decades. So, if it's true that human language evolved to help us navigate the tricky waters of a complex social life, you might suspect that elephants have a fairly complex system of communication as well. But the truth is, we really know very little about how elephant communication works. And we know even less about the Asian elephants than we know about their African cousins. This is Udawalawe National Park in Sri Lanka, where I do the fieldwork for my research. Udawalawe has an amazingly high density of elephants. It's almost impossible to drive through the park and not see an elephant. So I came here last winter to observe these animals in their natural habitat and uncover some of the secrets of their communication. Why do Asian elephants make such a wide variety of different sounds? What do these sounds mean, and how do they help the elephants navigate their everyday lives? Some Asian elephant calls seem to be combinations of other calls. To give you an example, I'm going to show you some spectrograms, which are visual representations of sound. First, a call known as a long roar. Next a call known as a rumble. And now, look at this call. It sure looks like a combination of the first two calls, but what does it mean to the elephants? Why do they combine sounds like this? Is it analogous to the way that we combine words into sentences? Or are they simply two unrelated calls that happen to be together? There's only one way to find out for sure, and that is through experimentation. I'll be going back to Sri Lanka in January and staying there for six months. For the first few months, I'm going to focus on making careful observations of the elephant's behavior and recording their calls. Then, I'm going to play pre-recorded calls back to the elephants and observe their responses. By changing the order and composition of different sequences of calls, I'll be able to figure out how these call combinations work and whether they have any properties in common with human grammar. Grammar-like elements have never been conclusively found in the calls of any animals other than primates, so this would really be a first. I'm going to do everything I can to disseminate the results of my research to the general public. It is my hope that doing so will help inspire people to support the conservation of Asian elephants and their imperiled habitat. But to do this, I need your help. Working in Sri Lanka is incredibly expensive. The plane ticket alone is over $1,000, my equipment will cost over $3,000, and the Sri Lankan Wildlife Department charges $30 per day just to enter the national park. I have already secured some grant money, which will help cover these expenses. But the biggest expense of my research is hiring the 4x4 vehicles to follow the elephants and carry the loudspeakers for my experiments. I am working to raise this money through the crowdfunding platform Mycorrhiza. Please, go to my project at mycorrhiza.com and donate if you can. Even the smallest amount helps. Even one dollar. Thank you all so much for your support.